good fun. Days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together. Um, and to have you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into, into making a day like this possible, is, uh, it's, it's fantastic for everyone. Race seven on the card is our headliner, the listed Michaelmas handicap over 1,900 meters. Race seven of eight on the day is due off at five past four. And just one addition to the equipment as declared. Number eight, love the view, will race with a compression mask. Before discussing the field for the Michaelmas handicap, uh, let's catch up with a rerun of Donald McDonald when he finished second on the 3rd of October, and we hear also from Duncan Howells. Donald McDonald's out the rail. Magical Midland comes under a ride. Abuto's towards the inside. Kudate, Donald McDonald is slowly wearing it down as they come to the last 150. Kudate continues to find by that neck or so. Kudate, Donald McDonald's trying hard. Kudate continues to find and will win. Kudate won it. Second, Donald McDonald, Magical Midland, Zebuto, and run to Denmark. The record dance, she hasn't been with me for all that long. Uh, I think this filly will need the run. Ideally, I wouldn't like to be running her over this sort of trip first time for me. But she's rated quite highly and it's a bit difficult to find the right races for her. So obviously she has ability, her form is very good. I do feel she'll need the run. She could run into the back end of quartets. Nice to see Dave McLean Silks back in KwaZulu Natal. Seven lyrical dance. Tabisa Gamedi for Duncan Howes and Dave McLean comes into the province with very decent form, Warren. But yeah, as we heard there from Duncan, perhaps not the ideal way for him to, to step her out in a feature of this sort, but with a filly that's rated 95. She's a four year old daughter of Versing Gedricks with good solid form. It's going to be interesting to see how she goes. Nice renewal of the Michaelmas, some nice horses running. The market leader early is number two, Native Tongue at 28 to 10, he's a classy individual. Gentleman's Wager, 33 to 10, Donald McDonald, four to one. Sir Michael, knocking very loudly at the door, just can't get his nose in front where it matters most, he's at three to one. Love the View, he's eight to one. Lyrical Dance, 10 to one. And then, of course, uh, Guru Pride out at 16 to 1. And Wealthy, who in fact has earned more money than anything else in this race, is the outside of the party, now nine years old at 20 to 1. I'm in the camp of number five, Donald MacDonald. I think he will strip a very fit horse. He goes well on the turf. He goes well over the course. And I think he's ready to run a big race. Just uh, before you comment, uh, Gentleman's Wager is shorter in the market than Donald MacDonald. He's been an impressive one of his last two starts. But these two horses met albeit a few months ago, on the 18th of July, when Donald MacDonald ran fourth behind Gentleman's Wager. On that occasion, they met at level weights. Donald MacDonald now receives five kilograms from Gentleman's Wager. Donald MacDonald will strip a lot fitter this time around. Uh, that was his first run back then off a break. So I'm confident, certainly at the weights, that Donald MacDonald is going to be too good for Gentleman's Wager. But I do, of course, have healthy respect for Native Tongue and Sir Michael. Graham, uh, and this is merely an assumption, uh, but I believe that Donald MacDonald has uh, had this race in mind for a while, as have the connections. As I say, it's merely an assumption, but for me, like you, he's the horse that sets the standard. I think his preparation into this race has uh, been phenomenal. He's got ability. He really has. He's lightly raced. He's only had 10 runs for four wins. Warren Kennedy knows his each and every stride. So like you, I'm in the camp of Donald MacDonald. Going back to Lyrical Dance, I wouldn't uh, write her off completely. I think uh, back into quartets, as Duncan says, uh, not the ideal race, but she's clearly got some ability and she could uh, sneak into third or fourth. I had a word with him off air and he said, yeah, it's just a, a tough race for her to debut in, but he wouldn't write her off completely, but she's just not 100% just yet. So, love the view, lightweight, uh, Lyle Hurtson rides for his dad, a consistent form. Yeah, a, a lovely race. It really is a lovely race. Good old wealthy shame. He hasn't won for a thousand and one days, but uh, he clearly loves his racing because he's never too far off the action. Gets gate one and a lightweight. But after all is said and done, like you, uh, and like we've been together for most of the meeting, I think Donald MacDonald, this is really uh, what he's uh, been primed for. 
Well, he gets five and a half kilograms from native tongue, which could be quite critical, but native tongue is uh, no walkover. He'll make his presence felt in a big way. And Sir Michael, 722 days since he's last won, uh, but he's been very game, very consistent. Who knows? Uh, this could be the ideal race room. After this, it might be the Sir Michael Miss Handicap uh, for uh, the Dean Canamare runner. It's a good renewal of the Michaelmas Handicap. Warren and I are both in the camp of Donald MacDonald. Utmost respect for native tongue. Sir Michael, gentleman's wager, who's found a new lease of life. Lyrical dance, back end of quartets, along with Love the View. It's a competitive handicap, but we think Donald MacDonald might just take the top on it. I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money. Two seconds later, it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account.